Picture the perfect road trip. This is most likely from media influence, but I always imagined hot sunny days, expansive country roads, and good company as perfect ingredients for a great road trip. Hence, summer long weekends always present themselves as good opportunities for going on road trips, especially if you live in a place with a short window of good weather, such as Alberta, Canada, where I live. Hello everyone, it's Bon and welcome back to my channel. This past summer, I had a chance to go on several road trips, one of which you've already seen in the past videos that I uploaded to this channel. This video is episode 3 of my 2021 summer adventures, and I will talk about the longest and most spontaneous road trip that I've ever taken, which is the trip my friends and I took back in August to Vancouver, British Columbia. Vancouver is about 700 kilometers away from Calgary, and the typical drive from Calgary to Vancouver is around 11 hours via Trans-Canada Highway 1. But let me tell you now, our drive lasted way longer than that. I went on this trip with my friends Bianca, Guy, and David, who was our designated driver, and this was our first drive to Vancouver ever. It was fun. We had lots of cool stops along the way, but we also took a wrong turn and got into the thick of terrible forest fires. Basically, it was an adventure of a lifetime. So why did we even do this in the first place? Especially during a pandemic and a record-breaking heat wave over the Pacific Northwest that sparked a hell of a lot of forest fires. Let's backtrack a bit. If you've been following along my videos, which thank you by the way, You've probably seen some videos that I made with my friend, Gabby. She's actually moved to Vancouver for a while now, and the videos I posted with her earlier this year was just her visiting us here in Calgary. And this summer, we decided to meet halfway over at Kelowna, which is a lakeside resort city at the Okanagan Valley in British Columbia. However, the roads to Kelowna were closed due to forest fires, so we decided to scrap that idea. We actually had lots of other plans, one of which was flying over to Tofino over at Vancouver Island, but it was so expensive and my friends and I were still a little bit uncomfortable with flying at the time. So instead we just decided to stay in Alberta and go to Drumheller, which is our mini Grand Canyon, Dinosaur Central. Um, that meant that Gabby wouldn't be able to join us though, which was kind of sad. So after a few more deliberation with my friends, we decided to go on a road trip to Vancouver and we did consider the forest fires that were happening at the time, but since the roads were open, we didn't think it was that serious, which we later found out to be totally wrong. But anyways, the goal was to surprise Gabby. See, Gabby has this track record of surprising people. Like, she wouldn't tell some of her family members that she's visiting them all the way in Lithuania, and she will just surprise them once she's landed. Which is why my friend said I thought that it would be fun to surprise her as well. Here's a clip that I took just before heading out for the trip. Okay, um, so hello everyone, it's Vaughn and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be the start of a long day because me and my friends are actually going on a drive to Vancouver to surprise a friend. Uh, she doesn't know that we're going to be there, um, but yeah, we're going to be staying there for like the whole week. Um, and I'll be back in Calgary next weekend, so it'll be fun. Um, so the whole idea was that we would let Gabby think that we were still on our way to Drumheller while we're actually on our way to Vancouver. This is where we had to pull off an elaborate trick. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I post a lot of stories of random things that I do on a daily basis, but especially when I'm out and about doing things. So it would have been very out of character for me to not be posting Instagram stories when I'm supposed to be in Drumheller. 
At some point, Gabby was actually asking for photos, so to not make her any more suspicious, I had to post fake stories using photos of Drum Heller that I took a long time ago, and I also told her that our friends and I are doing this less social media thing where we're trying to be not on our phones as much. Which she bought. Seriously though, I should put down my phone more often. Anyway, our trip to Vancouver consisted of driving down to Canmore, where we stopped for some coffee. Then we had lunch and made a wrong turn at Golden. <laughs> and had a short stop at Revelstoke, which is a mountain resort city. I took film photos to document this whole trip, However, a role that I was using during this leg of the road trip didn't turn out at all. It's a pity for sure. I don't know why, maybe I loaded the camera wrong. But of course, I probably had like 5 different cameras with me during this trip, so I still had a few photos of Revelstoke from my other cameras. What do you think, Bianca? What? What do you think? I think that's a nice city to be a teenager. You get very After stopping at Revelstoke, we continued our trip, and this is where we started to really feel the effects of the forest fires. The fires were pretty bad over at Salmon Arm, and a lot of towns were being evacuated. The smoke got really thick in this area too, and our drive got very intense. The visibility was very bad, but thankfully we pulled through and stopped over for a night at Merritt, and then continued on to Vancouver the next day. <laughs> this is actually really nice, you know, we so have a couch thing you can relax. <laughs> We made a quick stop over at Abbotsford where we had food, but also we had to plan how we're gonna surprise Gabby. I mean, after all, Vancouver is huge, and we don't have much option for insider help to get her to a place where we can meet her. So here was our plan. I told Gabby that I had this very vivid dream that she should go to the beach and watch the sunset that evening because she'll find something that she's looking for or something. She's quite spiritual and likes the idea of meaningful dreams, which I'm sorry for exploiting, but we kind of had to get her somewhere without letting her know it's because we're in the city. Anyway, she told me she'd go and that she'll sit and relax in some grassy area of the beach. By the way, this wasn't all just me. My friends also helped in planning and making sure that our story was coherent. And so the moment came, we're at the beach, and of course it was huge and there were a lot of grassy areas. Gabby also stopped responding to my texts and we didn't even know if she's actually there. So we kind of just left it up to chance. Worst thing is that we'll just call her and ruin the surprise. <laughs> we'll just leave it to the universe. Anyways, I decided that we should head over an area of the beach. And what do you know, Bianca spotted Gabby sitting there reading. Okay, um, so what do we do? Huh, yeah, what's the plan? Do we just, do we sit? just sit, sit next to her seriously? <laughs> oh, yeah, that yeah, would yeah. be cool. Can, Can we, we go on, on the back? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> we didn't know if it was gonna work, but somehow it did. Here's a footage of what happened. <laughs> it was a huge emotional moment and tears were shed. I took some very awesome photos to document everything, but yeah, that was fun. We stayed in Vancouver for about three whole days and took two more days to get back to Calgary. I took a lot of photos during this trip and I will be sharing some of them in the following videos, so please feel free to follow along if you're interested in that. 
This trip is actually what inspired me to make these series of videos about summer. In the end, the trip wasn't exactly that picture-perfect road trip I initially imagined. It was wet, smoky, and a little stressful because of the forest fires. But I really enjoyed how spontaneous this trip was, and while we did plan the basics of how it should go, a lot of our decisions were made simply from going with the flow and not stressing too much about the situation. To me, it was perfect just the way it was, and what's more important is the time I got to spend with my good friends and the memories we shared. And that's it! Thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you liked it. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. So what about you? Have you ever gone on a very spontaneous road trip? What makes a good road trip for you? Or do you even like going on road trips? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. But that's it for this video. Again, I'm Bon, and I hope to see you all again in the next video. Cheers!